Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is having a killer day. I know me and uh, Miles down here are just enjoying every enjoying the morning. And uh, well, it's morning when I'm filming this. So, Miles, for those that didn't see the last video, which was the my loot crate uh, July unboxing, uh, yeah. My partner, April, and I, we adopted a little rescue pup. We've named him Miles. Um, I've gone with, uh, you know, Miles Kennedy from Alter Bridge. Great rock and roll singer. One of the best, extremely underrated. A lot of you actually probably, any wrestling fans would know Alter Bridge from Metalingus, Edges, theme music. So, yeah, that's where I got it from. Anyway. Um, I had a couple of uh, packages turn up from Pop Culture. It's a, um, they're a store down in Geelong. They have all sorts of really, really cool collectible stuff. And I really wanted to share this with you guys. So, you know what that means? It's the cowbell. What's in the box? Hello. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? And I've got the dog trying to sniff the cowbell. It's a curious little thing. All right, let's start with this small little box. It is packed by real humans in Geelong, which is about Two and a half hours, I think, from where we live. So, uh, nice little coastal city. I've actually got family that live down there too, so I've been meaning to get down there so I can see my brother and sisters and anybody and everybody else. So, so you don't need to see the invoice. Right now, I love these things. These are the reaction figures. The last time I got some, the glue had dissolved, but that is not the case this time. Now these are rare. These are exclusives. I think these are um, convention exclusives. You now apparently there's one more that I need to get. It's an unmarked, unmasked. Deathstroke, but I've already got, um, I've already got the others, the other four. So, actually, there's also a um, a, a masked Green Arrow too. So I've, there's two that I've still got to get. One I know I can probably find pretty easy on eBay. The other one's going to be a little bit trickier. But anyway, this is the John Diggle. Arrow costume reaction figure. So that's pretty cool. These are all made by um, Funko. Uh, a lot of these for me is a lot of nostalgia sort of thing. Because like when I was growing up in the 80s, this was a style of, you know, action figures and that. We got like, if you had G.I. Joe vehicles and that, you could zip, put them in and have little adventures and just go nuts. It was the 80s. We made our own fun. And the... Frap! I'm going to have to re-glue. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I have to re-glue this one too. Um, damn it. It's okay. Super glue. Easy to use. Um, and this is the unmasked green arrow. So bummed. What is it with this weak-ass glue? Anyway, but it's a good... Like, as, I'm not complaining at the minute because I can actually show you guys, like, the articulation. These are fully, fully articulated, so the arms can move, do a full 360. Um, there's no waist rotation. There is legs, so you can fall kick, uh, can only go back so far. And the head can do a full Reagan. So I'm going to have to get the glue out and um, 
yeah, fix that. So that's a small box. Air cushion, which is probably really a lot better than bubble wrap and those packing peanuts, because this stuff you can actually recycle. Right. So that's box number eight. Let's go for the big box. So this one I thought was a really, really cool idea. This is I'm a big fan of Funko Pops and Horror. I just love it. So I was just browsing the website and I saw that they had these like mystery horror boxes of various pops and I thought to myself self wouldn't it be fun and we got a box inside a box okay to um, to get one of these gimmicks and see what we have so I've done that so these are all there goes Diggle so these are all horror themed um, pops. Nice, yeah, slice that. Thank you very much. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, seriously? Okay, these are cool. Um, I was thinking if there's going to be double ups, I'm going to give them to a buddy of mine, Ned, because he absolutely loves, he's like me, like, he loves horror movies and Funko Pops and that, and, um, I guess we were, we were the rejects when we were back in high school, like, we would, you know, be hanging out, riding motorbikes, watching horror movies, listening to metal, and everyone else was, you know, watching Happy Gilmore for the 58th millionth time, which uh, kind of made me resent that movie for quite a while. But let's pick out the first one. How where? First one is... Pennywise. Okay. So this is... Pennywise, and this one has Pennywise with wrought iron, so it's got the uh, iron bar sticking through his skull. Cool. What's this one we've got? Oh, Stranger Things. Love this show. Battle 11. Currently on the second season. I'm just loving the 80s nostalgia of Stranger Things. It is so cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, all of these are probably just going to end up going straight to the toy room. Here we got another Pennywise. This time he's holding Georgie's paper boat. Where is it? I'm not sure if you can see. There we go. Hello, Georgie. Do you want your boot? Uh, there's actually a really, really cool album out actually going back onto the topic of metal really, really quick by a band called Ice Nine Kills. Uh, the name of the album is The Silver Scream. And they do... The whole album is uh, horror themed. So every song is based off of a different horror movie you've got jaws you've got halloween you've got friday the 13th shining everything it is so cool check it out one of my favorite songs on there um rocking the boat is the jaws one but it is the end is really really cool the film clip to it is absolutely amazing i strongly recommend you go and check it out next one we have Oh, this one's one of my personal favorites too. Silence of the Lambs. I love this movie. Hannibal Lecter. 
Uh, this is probably one of the only horror movies to actually get an Oscar. So this is really, really cool. A lot of it actually comes down to um, Anthony Hopkins' performance in that because it was just so good as Hannibal Lecter. Um, God, what, I, what can I say about Silence of the Lambs that hasn't already been said? But I love the blood splatter on the bottom of the box. That's cool. Uh, now, all these are just placed. They're just random uh, stuff that's been thrown in. So I, I like that concept. I like the idea of like you never know what you're going to get. It's To me, it is really, really cool. Uh, next one. Oh, this one. I'm saving what I think is going to be the best one for last. The next one we have is the great old one. Cthulhu. Again, I've only just um, started reading HP Lovecraft, so um, Call of Cthulhu is perhaps one of the most well-known of HP Lovecraft's work. I've got to check them. Check. Um, I haven't started reading that one yet. I've got to read it. It's going to be so cool. But that is a really, really cool-looking Cthulhu. Dog's having a drink. Last one. God. Oh, oh, man. I can already hear my buddy Ned saying, I want that pop, damn it. Give it to me, jerk. No, not happening. Michael Myers. Halloween. Oh, what? One of the all time best slasher movies is Halloween. Michael Myers with blood splatter on the mask. How cool is that? And this one's a special edition one too. I know there's a Halloween H2O one out. Um, I wouldn't mind getting that actually. That'd be pretty sick. But yeah, so that's the pop culture haul. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? I've got some good stuff in here. I've got some good stuff in here. Oh, in case you can't tell, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Halloween. Um, dang it. It's not going to work. Michael Myers. Tattooed on me. R.I.P. Blakey. Miss you, buddy. Um, but yeah, so that is everything that was in the Funko Horror Mystery Box. Now, these boxes are about 50 bucks. Are they worth it? Um, you just saw the amount of coolness that was in that box. Yes, absolutely. So if you want one, definitely go to Pop Culture dot com dot au look for horror look for pops they've, they've got other ones as well it's not all just horror but you get six miss six random uh pop figures in the box these are going straight to the toy room what can i say especially like the shape So cool. All right. See you next time, guys.